Maniacs, more Project Fears. Thank you guys for your patience. I know it's been a while. I, you guys have been blowing me up. Where is next Project Fear reaction? And I gotta apologize. Lately, my mind's been everywhere. Uh, from going back, back and forth from work, you know, my security job, doing YouTube as much as I often can, you know, my second channel and everything, trying to post on social media all the time. It, it, it got to me a little bit, I won't lie. You know, the stress of like not posting on my Patreon account, which has been just killing me lately. It, it, it's just a lot. It's it's just a lot going on at the moment, and I, I apologize that you guys kind of have to bear with it. Really kind of, it makes me depressed. It really does. I hate not posting, and I, I'm sorry that you guys kind of have to suffer because of it. You guys have to wait for me, and I don't like making you do that, so um, let's go ahead and get back into the Project Fear stuff. I'll give you guys my honest thoughts during and after the video, of course, so just uh, bear with me for a little bit longer while we, we get through this. Thank you guys for your time and your patience, and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. We're almost 20,000. I know we can do it. If you guys just hit that subscribe button, we can get there a lot faster. I know we can do it. Come on. Zawoki is like 4,000 ahead of me now. I need help. <laughs> but uh, let's go ahead and dive into this video, guys. Sorry, I'm wasting more time, man. Ain't I? We are at Sweet Spring Sanatorium. <laughs> now is time for us to separate and sleep alone. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> I'm coming, Josie. Get over here. Whoa. What the f Holy f that door just shut! That door just shut! We are at Sweet Spring Sanatorium in West Virginia, and we have had the craziest night. We just got scared out of the building as a group, and now we're about to separate and sleep alone. There is no promises that we're gonna make it through this night, especially after everything we've went through. So if you wanna see what we've went through already tonight, go watch part one, the link. I already did, baby, already did, and it was a good video. It was a good introduction into your guys' channel. I actually never watched their uh, channel. I think it's Destination Fear. I never watched it. I know it got canceled. Rumor has it that Zach Baggins had something to do with that, but I don't know the facts. I just, I, I've already seen the video and it was, it was good. I, I really enjoyed it and it was a good introduction to all their personalities. I, I think they're a lot of fun, so, sorry. Link is in the description. It is messed up. And just to make things even creepier, there's some dogs out there in the distance right now just barking. It's past two in the morning and these dogs are freaking out now. So now it's time for us to separate and sleep alone. This is our special thing that we do at every location. We think by separating that it amplifies the fear and it's the ultimate challenge. We've all agreed on the four scariest locations for us to go sleep. First, we have the third floor outside of room 3007. This is where people report seeing a lady in white appearing in the window. Yeah. Just a few hours ago, me, Chelsea, and Alex, we were in room 3007 doing a digital recorder session, and we got a response that said, Clear as day, EVP. For our next sleeping arrangement, we have the second floor hallway. This is where people report feeling a heavy energy. Shadow figures are captured. When me, Alex, and Chelsea were there earlier, we were hearing non-stop noises. Yeah, baby. For our next sleeping arrangement, we have the basement hospital wing. About an hour ago, we were down in the hospital wing as a group doing the spirit box. We captured what sounded like Tanner's voice coming through the spirit box. <laughs> And then followed by Chelsea's voice screaming. What the fuck? What is happening? Now, it may not have been their voices, but we replayed it, and it sounds exactly like Tanner and exactly like Chelsea. For our final scene... That was the creepiest part of part one, in my opinion, was the fact that it was, like, using their voices to, like, communicate. It was pretty unsettling. I, I, arrangement. We I'd have been out. The basement slave quarters. This is where last time, three years ago, Tanner slept. Tanner, why don't you tell him what you experienced? I was in the basement by myself. I heard voices that like, sounded like someone broke into the building. And at the very end, when we all got together, the loudest scream of all time. Enough where it scared us all out of the building. No, like what we experienced like messed us up. Yeah. We are still scarred from something that happened three years ago. This place literally broke us three years ago and it's almost broke us again tonight. Last time we were here, the activity didn't even start amplifying until 3 a.m. 
which is in about 30 minutes from now. Tonight, it's already been worse than it was last time. I'm curious to see if history is gonna repeat itself and if it's about to get a whole lot worse now that we're all in our own separate areas by ourselves. So those are our four sleeping arrangements. Tanner is gonna write those out on a piece of paper, then we're gonna draw, and that's where you go sleep for the rest of the night, which is about four to five hours. This video Heck yeah, gets, baby. let's say, 50,000 likes. Dakota will do an entire solo episode. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. If this video can get 50,000 likes, I will come here in the future sounds like a good deal a whole night by myself I'm about that would actually amp yeah that would bad that amplify a little bit wouldn't it yeah a whole night by yourself in that building dude it's it's almost even hard to kind of imagine just being in there by yourself when everybody else is inside the building still like i i couldn't imagine doing that alone to make fifty thousand accounts <laughs> yeah, for real for real this is our first hat draw of the youtube channel who wants to draw first? Any takers? I Them can just dogs, pick. man. I'll just pick. <gasps> Tanner! <Yeah. laughs> okay, so it's not just the damn ghost inside that's making fun of me and picking on me, it's you guys too. Fantastic! Okay, Tanner. Did you take a handful of them? Yeah, I took all of them. <laughs> Second floor, I'm not in the basement! Let's go! It's so sad that you're- I, Dude, he doesn't deserve it. <laughs> he doesn't deserve- After the last episode, he doesn't deserve to go to the basement again. Oh! The second floor. How about in the basement? Woo! Third floor, they said they remembered me in the basement. Obviously, they remember me. This is the one tiny safe spot for your boy. All right, Tanner, since I picked you, you can pick your draws next. Oh, uh, Dakota. No! <laughs> Dakota! Basement! Basement! Watch me get the third floor. <laughs> yeah, I know, dude. No, he does get the basement. Basement, yeah. basement, 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 basement. Hope it worked. All right, here we go. Basement. Come on. Slave quarters. Third floor! No! <laughs> Okay, so he didn't get the basement. I thought he did get the basement. Okay, I, I just, I need to look at the map of the building again. Chelsea and okay. Alex, basement for Chelsea and Alex. My sister and Alex are going to the basement. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. That sucks. That sucks. That sucks. <laughs> I want to go on record saying I thought we should end this night and uh, just go I, home. Uh, we this is bullshit! Well, this is gonna be creepy. The third floor is terrifying. It's where we got the EVPs, where Cindy was throwing it on the stairs. But it's just relieving knowing I'm not in the basement. You guys, I'm so scared! So you can either have the hospital or their slave quarters. They both absolutely suck! Well, um, I guess I get to pick who goes next. Uh, Chelsea, you wanna draw? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't even know. This is so... Oh, not that one. Not this one. Oh, no. No! Basement hospital! That's where you slept last time. I know! History is repeating itself. Oh boy. Yeah, no. it was all funny and dancing, and now it's not freaking funny. <laughs> it's it's kind, of, kind of funny for me. <laughs> you guys. What does that mean for you, Al? What do you think it means? Oh, uh, well, yep, yeah, I get this. Slave quarters. Uh, this is exactly where we were when we ran out screen in the first time. Well, that only means one thing. Right now, it is time for us to bundle up and go to bed. That was a crazy look you just gave us all. <laughs> That's fucked, man. The following events occurred over the next four hours. So, I just got to my sleeping arrangement. The room directly in front of me is room 3007. I'm staring right at it. This is where the lady in white is seen. To my left is a hallway. And to oh, good. my right is an extremely long hallway. There it is. That's the hallway with the door, yep. I'm so scared. Oh. Wow, it's dark as hell in here. Oh. 
That is disgusting. Biggest bug of all time. Oh my god. See there. Oh. Yikes, that thing is freaky. That's the scariest thing inside the basement. You see the... Was that like an ear mite or something like that? No. So right now I am in the hospital wing in the basement. And it is so dark down here. I'm gonna show you how dark it is. So this is what you are seeing. This is what I am seeing. So I don't get to see in night vision. The crazy thing is, Alex and I are both in the basement and I cannot hear anything he's saying. Last time I was here, I thought I was hearing Tanner and now I know for sure that I was not hearing Tanner because I cannot hear anything Alex is saying. So, I am alone in these slave quarters. This is the same spot that we heard a scream, and we all ran out almost in tears three years ago. I really do not like this one bit. Whatever is here remembers Tanner and remembers Chelsea. Tanner's on the second floor if you want to go visit him and talk with him. But please just let me get through this night without getting too scared. It's almost a witching hour, too. Holy shit. My heart is racing so fast. Hello? There's somebody down there? Don't ever acknowledge it. I'm really freaking creepy. Once you acknowledge it, I it wants to- I I heard something at the end of the hallway. I am going to take out a piece of equipment and see if there is anything here that wants to communicate with me. Okay, so I am about to turn on the ovulus. If there's somebody down here, you can use this device to communicate with me. Is there anybody down here? Girl. Are you a girl? What exactly are you doing here? Do you work here? Are or, you a patient here? Or the spirit's referring to her as the girl. Girl. The lady in white is terrifying, but this is also the floor where Cindy Harper, the manager of this property, was thrown down the stairs. I can still hear the dogs barking outside. What is making them bark? Is there anybody on this floor with me? My name is Dakota. Now I'm just focused on that door back there because I know it's going to happen. I'm going to be in here for several hours. Gosh, I keep thinking I'm seeing something down this hall. Is there someone down there? And... Can you make a noise, a loud noise? I haven't been up to this floor since we were here last- That sound effect was bullshit, by the way. You should never do that. <laughs> My heart. Last time. This is really bizarre seeing the rest of the building. Oh! Nope. Yo! Hello? I am hearing so much movement. All red. Oh. Yes. I, I 
can tell that you're here. That's a, that's a bit bizarre. You're here in good faith. I mean, no harm. Can you knock on the door? Okay, so I'm already hearing a bunch of noises. Here I am thinking I got a good spot. I'm constantly hearing footsteps, bangs on the door. Holy! That door just sounded like it was opening. Yeah, yeah it did. Hello? Yo, I don't trust that door. I did not pick a good spot. I'm gonna try to find the boiler room. I don't think there is a good spot in that entire building. <laughs> I don't think you're hearing me safe anywhere. I just wanna see it. I can't get comfortable. I have the chills in here. I think this is the machinery right here that a woman got her arm ripped off. She Jeez, survived, Murphy. but it is said that once she did eventually pass, her spirit came back here. Uh -oh. This is where they would stack all the deceased bodies uh, during the time of it being a tuberculosis sanatorium. This room immediately has a really Hello? I just heard like a, a little clink of metal, like something hit one of these machines back here. Is there anyone in here? I don't know. Let's go back. Is there anyone down here with me? I have a device in my hand that will allow you to speak to me. Can you hear my voice? Tell me something through this device to let me know that you can hear me and understand me. Last time we were here in this building, you scared us pretty bad. Do you have anything to say about that? We want to understand what is going on down here in this basement. I want to know like what those jump uh, the, the fucking segue jump scare shit. I'm sitting here listening, <laughs> trying to hear anything in the background, and that happens. This angry, mean spirit is like what part of the many layers of history does it come from? If it's not an evil spirit, it's it's a it's a pissed off ghost. I'm starting to like regret even staying here. We should have just left. <sighs> okay, so I brought the digital recorder with me. I'm gonna do an EVP session. Sounds like you know, a plan. Earlier when we were up here, you know, we got that EVP saying that I remember Tanner. I'm gonna set the recorder on the ground. If there's anyone in here, if you speak, if you give me a message, I will be able to hear your voice. What is the very aggressive, angry person or, or spirit that's here? Do you have a message for Tanner? Do you have a message for Chelsea? Do you want us to leave? Do you have a message for Chelsea? Do you want us to leave? That's creepy. I, I said, do you want us to leave? And it sounds like just a distinct yes. Do you want us to leave? Yes. 
It is a pretty distinct yes. <laughs> the the S is pretty strong on it. That's a yes. Okay. I mean, we already kind of knew that. We knew it wants us to leave. Do you want to talk to me? Yes, I was the one praying down here last time. Are you okay with that? Not Are you the one who mimicked our screams? Why did you do that? Are you trying to scare us? Are you trying to scare me? Oh my god, those are distinct. Those are distinct footsteps. Yeah, you can even hear like where the foot like actually steps down from the heel and hit like it's pretty crazy. Um, yeah, if it's an, I, I mean, there's no doubt about it, dude. That whatever imitated their voices is absolutely a negative energy. I, there's no other being. I don't think you'd have the power as a deceased person to like the limit. Like, are you limited on what you can do to like actually be able to mimic someone's voice? I'm not sure if that's even possible on the other side. You know, that's, that's a really good question, but something that is demonic or maybe something that like a doppelganger might be able to do something along those lines, like a demonic entity that could take the form of other people. Pretty crazy, man. Pretty crazy. Hello? Pretty crazy. Is there somebody down here with me? I can hear a lot of noises. If you are down here, you can use this device to talk with me. Is there someone down here with me? Spirits? Like multiple spirits? Okay. I just asked the... Hide. What? Okay, I just asked if there is someone down here with me and the ovulus responded with spirits and then hide. Should I be worried about something down here? Am I safe? Why did you just tell me to hide? I need more information. I'm hearing a lot of movement. I don't know if you remember. I was really wanting an answer to that. Remember me. Really wanting it. Can you knock on that door if you hear me? I did bring some devices with me. I brought two REM pods. See how, if I get close to it, it makes that little noise. I'm gonna set up one fairly close to me and one farther down that hallway. You hear my voice, I have two lights on the ground. You walk up to one of these lights, it'll make a noise. I've been hearing someone making noises. Yep, there it is. There it I'm is. Down. You made the far one go off. Can you do that to the close one? You can take a breath. It's going off. Literally when I'm trying to calm myself down, it's going off. At least it's not the closest one. I was expecting the closest one to go off. And as I stand up, it stops. Hello? So on edge. I feel very uncomfortable right now. Oh, ow! Be down here for a while. I hope you're all right Ooh. with that.
You know, I'm getting the chills down here. Can you use some words to describe me, my, my appearance? Is there green on him? Green? Uh, okay. I asked to describe something about my appearance, and the ovulus said green. And I'm wearing a green sweatshirt, and my signal that it is green. I mean, look. I'm wearing green. Yeah, it is. Okay. Okay. So I'm assuming you can see me right now. Can you describe anything else about me? Can you give me a sign that, that I'm not alone? <laughs> yeah? I heard something that sounded like footsteps down this area. Hello? This is how it fucking starts every single time. It's gonna start slow and it's gonna ramp up. I clearly asked if you could give me a sign that I'm not alone. I think that sums up almost every investigation, like ever. It starts out slow and then it starts getting more insane. And then I heard footsteps walking towards me. I don't feel alone. This is like a You're nightmare. probably not, bud. I've been thinking about this place for years. Now I'm sitting on the third floor alone. <sighs> probably got someone right down that hallway. Yo, did my IR light die? Um, okay. I'm gonna change the batteries. As you can see, it's a lot brighter. This is how bright it looks, because it's in night vision. That's what I'm seeing. Those two red lights. I have my handy dandy flashlight, thank God. <sighs> okay, my REM pod is going off again. If there's just one of you, can you come up to this close REM pod and make it go off? If there's more, can you make this far one go off? What was that? All right. Okay. Doing a little timeout. And it goes off. Right when I was just about to turn it off for a second. So there's multiple. I'm hearing a lot of stuff from over here. So I got to say that sounded like almost a chair just being chucked or just slammed up against the wall. I was surprised not to see a chair get slammed up against the wall right there. So I am going to walk this way a little bit. Or, or it was maybe a spirit like plopping down in a chair. Cause sometimes it will move a chair slightly if someone plops down in it. I just need to walk away from that place for a second and explore. Let's see if Dakota's up here. Yo! Bro. What's going on? Oh my god. So, most noises I've ever heard in my entire life, okay? Okay. I start putting the REM pods up. The far one just starts going off, like nonstop, off, on, off, on. I am don't know what's going on. Dude, I'm freaked out. <laughs> it's insane, it bro. Very little happened to me, but I'm like scared for everyone else. Like, the building is alive. The building is completely alive. It's turned on and everyone's experiencing a ton of stuff. Well, all right. We got a long night ahead of ourselves. Hi, right, brother. I feel like I'm the lucky one tonight. I wish I had nothing happening. There's really no safe space for you. Like, it, it, it's gonna follow you wherever you go. Well, I, that didn't help. 
<laughs> Thank you for that. Sorry. It's okay. Didn't want to hear that last part. Uh, fantastic. Well, that's creepy. Is there anybody here with me? Is there anybody down here? Why were you mimicking us? What is the deal with that? Just got so cold down here, like freezing out of nowhere. If there is somebody down here with me, can you tell me what you're doing down here? <laughs> laugh. The obvious just said laugh. Is that you who laughed at us? Are you enjoying seeing us so terrified? Probably. Do you not want- Look, if I was a ghost, if I died and I actually came back as a ghost and I could scare the shit out of some of my family members, I'd be laughing too. Because I'd find it to be humorous as hell. Want us here? And there's no way they can get me. Do you want us to leave? I'm gonna walk you Alex real quick. Alex, you are not gonna believe what I got on the Oculus. What did you get? I got the word laugh. No, you did not. The same spot that we got laugh for the spare box? Yes. Dude, screw that, Chelsea. Like, I would just turn the ovulus off if I were you. I know, it's absolutely terrifying. But I think the spirit that was messing with us earlier is still here. Definitely. I'm so done with this place. This is a dumb idea in the first place. I'm not even kidding. It sounded like a door just shut or open, like it hit something. Dude. Okay, this is so stupid, but I'm going back there. Credit, man. Credit. Yeah. Hello? You see, it wasn't even the fact that something like made a loud noise. It's the fact that it like they're so far apart and yet it happened around the same exact time, but a little bit off in both different places. Like something like was over by one person at first. Uh, oh my God, Chelsea, I think is her name. And then it ran over to Alex. Like that was, that was pretty weird. Oh. That was weird. Yeah. Dude, there's like, there's nothing even on the ground that could have made that noise. I don't know what fell or what was thrown, but it came back here. This is the area that someone's arm got ripped off. I don't know why I even walked over here. Can you do that again? Can you make a noise? Is he about, is he crying? He looks like his eyes are watery. I have a device that'll let you talk to me. You can use your voice through this. Might be getting a little bit nervous, yeah. Are you trying to get my attention? What do you want from me? made me piss myself. There is, I can hear something over there. If I should not go over there, make a noise. If you want me out of here, make a noise. If you want to communicate, I have a device in my hand that will allow you to pick words and you can have a conversation with me. If you can hear me and you're here, whoa! Like some, I just heard something like shuffling on the ground back where my sleeping bag is. Holy fuck, dude! Yo! Hello? Yo! Uh, 
I literally just heard walking down here. No statue! Yo, what is going on? Charles! Well. I do not see any with anything down here at all. There's nothing. There's nothing down here. What was that? What? Chelsea, are you there? Alex! Oh my god! I did not have my walkie. Where is my walkie? Something's down there with me right now. There was something in my hallway and it sounded like there was like somebody down there. There's something that was throwing shit in like the boiler room area. I heard the same thing. I, I literally don't even know what to think. I ran out of there because I was like- Wait, did you get up and walk towards it? Yeah. Same. Was it at the same freaking time? No, I'm serious. I, I think it was, Chelsea, because when I walkied you, Okay, there's something off about the way they're talking. That's weird. Why does it sound like that? Is it the way it's cut? That's when I was just getting back from walking towards it. We were hearing stuff at the exact same time in opposite ends of the building. It was pulling us even further apart. If you don't want us in this building and you want us to leave, can you make a very loud noise? We should be getting close, so far, right? I feel like I've Where the door shuts, I know because I watched a Nukes Top 5 video and he kind of spoiled what happens, but I, I, yeah, the door just shuts right in. That is probably the best. And I saw it earlier, too. Yeah, it was a doorknob. Damn. Oh, I'm gonna go check that out. That was freaking loud. I do not like walking alone. Can you make that noise again? check this hallway out this little sub hallway hello are you down here this is honestly so freaking creepy are you down there I went down and explored to see if I could find like the source of that noise. I have no idea what it was. I looked in a bunch of rooms, but it could, it literally could have came from any single door at any single- Fuck my life. Okay. All right, baby. Now shut. That was a girl's high pitched voice. And then the door shuts, Hello? right? I just was down there too. I was just down there. It literally could have came from any single door at any single. What the f any single door at any single. What the f Can you do that again? I don't think it wants to after you just yelled what the fuck at it. Can 
It makes sense to hear like a high-pitched female where I'm at right now with the lady in white on this floor. And then... Propping the door open, and it's no longer, it's several feet away from the door. I'm putting my back against a wall right now. I saw that with my eyes. I had my, my flashlight zoomed all the way down the hall. I could... The only thing, you know, there is a thing that I will say about this. Um, I, The ghost could have moved whatever was propping the door, and I think that's why it's shut, but it also is a door that if there's nothing in front of it, will slightly just, will just shut by itself. We already know that it wasn't the ghost that shut it. It was whatever moved the, the thing holding it up could have shut it. But then again, maybe the guy who was walking down that hallway earlier might have accidentally moved it while walking down the hallway, and that's when it just decided, I'm going to slowly shut. It could have been that, too. But I do think it was a ghost. I'm just saying, other possibilities. I'm not trying to take away from it. It was a creepy thing to catch. But there are other possibilities, too. I hardly see it. At first, I didn't even know what I was seeing. And then the door, like, shut! Now, what? then again, then again, the door just kind of like actually just like forcefully looks like it shut. It doesn't even look like it slowly kind of shuts. It looks like it just like someone actually put their hand on it and shut it. May I? All right. All right. Okay. Holy. Yeah, look how it just. Interesting. Hello? Dude, that door between us shut. What? Yeah, it shut. I heard like a loud, like high-pitched girl voice. Ah, no, he came from the other way, so it couldn't have been his friend. Gotcha, now it makes sense. Okay, yeah, I'd be freaked out too a little bit. All right, all right. That proves that little theory wrong, because he came from the other way and not the way he was just, you know, looking. Son, it's hard for me to see it, and the door just starts to shut. And it closes. I don't even know my camera. What? Hopefully my camera can see it. This door, I just propped it open again. This little piece of wood was over here. It was like a foot and a half away from the door. I need to like cut my camera and see if Holy I got shit. this. So let's go to my, let's go get my camera. I just want to cut this really quick. Yeah. This is going to be absolutely wild. It makes sense to hear like a high pitch Look right there. Bam. What the f dude? You can see it because my reflection, my, my light like reflecting goes away. Um, Dakota, that's not good. The only thing I could maybe say is like maybe when you came in and out, like you might have nudged it or something. Okay. There's no way. I had like nothing happening, right? You come to me and it like knew now where I was. And then I leave, now it's toying with you, and then it wanted to shut the pathway between, between us. Yeah, literally, it did. I want to be done, dude. I don't think I can make it the next hour and a half. I don't think I can. Dude, dude just stay with me then. Stay with me for the rest of the night. I almost want you to come with me. Yes, I want to get out of this hallway. Okay. <sighs> we aren't getting anything on the ovulus right now. The noises. I do. I am kind of glad that he acknowledged my idea, my thoughts too. Like he could have been his buddy, actually uh, nudging it and whatnot, knocking it out of the way. But yeah, you know, he. I think he would have known if he had kicked it, right? Stopped. I did bring some other stuff with me in my backpack. I have the spirit box and headphones and a blindfold. 
Maybe we should try the Estes method. That's so scary. Blindfolded with headphones on. Well, it's an experiment. It's like an unbiased experiment then. Okay, well. I really think we should try it for a little bit at least. Give it a shot. Like, this is where we got all the stuff that happened on the spirit box like a couple hours ago. <sighs> okay, let's go. All right, let's try it. Chelsea and I are going to do the Estes method. Chelsea's going to go under with headphones on, uh, connected to a spirit box and blindfolded. And I'm going to ask questions and hopefully she will get answers that only she will hear. So whatever she hears, she's going to say out loud to me, then we know that that's an unbiased response to my questions. Okay, I can't hear you now, so I am right. gonna be fully. Testing, testing, Chelsea okay. smells. Chelsea smells, can you hear me? Chelsea, you smell. She can't hear me, guys. If there's anyone in here, if there's a device in Chelsea's hand that will allow you to speak to her and us, can you say something? Can you confirm with Chelsea right now that there is someone down here? Shh. Are you telling us to be quiet? Who are you? Were you one of the patients that passed away down here? Were you the one that was walking down this hallway with Chelsea? Watch. Watch. Have you been watching this entire night? What is this, a librarian? Oh my god. Do you want me to shut up? Where are you right now? Hi. Hello? Hi. Oh, Hi. oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? Where are you? Are you next to us right now? If, if you can say someone's name out of our group, who do you want to talk to right now? You? Ne no, no? You know. You know. I know. Alone. You want to be left alone? I know one of the spirits here said that they remember Chelsea. Are we talking to that spirit right now? Do you want her to be alone with you? Okay, if you're really talking to Chelsea. Dude, something keeps shushing me. Do you not want me to talk? Now. Oh my God. Am I being too loud? Am I being too nosy? What the hell? That's crazy how it kept repeating the shh. Like it wanted him to actually be quiet. Like it was telling him to stop talking. That's crazy. I, that, I can't believe you caught that. It's been a long time since we've seen something moving. This is the only location that's made me feel this like defeated so many times. Dude, okay, look down that hall. That's what I was staring at. And that door shut. That is the scariest thing I've ever seen with my own eyes. It's trying to scare us out again. <sighs> okay, we don't have that lo much longer. I do have the digital recorder. Do you want to do one EVP session? Let's do it. I'm rolling on the digital recorder with Tanner outside of room 3007. So I'm, I'm sitting here now with Tanner you remember my name. Can you tell us yours? Who just shut that door down there? Who did I hear and who shut that door? Oh, those are birds. Okay, I was like, what is that noise? Something. We definitely left a mark on this place though, because it remembered us. 
And it's probably gonna remember us forever after this. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Dude, I don't even, I don't want this video to get 50,000 likes because I do not want to come back here and freaking and be alone the whole night. That was dumb. Can you tell me where you're at right now? Tell Chelsea where you're at in this hallway. Are you close to us or are you far away? You don't want to tell me? You want us to come find you? Where is? Do you want to know where Tanner is? I'm trying. Were you the one that screamed at us when we were here three years ago or through the spirit box already? What else is down here? How many, how many spirits are down here right now? Can you give a number? Is it one? Shh. Shh. Two? Dude, whatever is hit does not want me to talk. Multiple. Multiple? Is there more than five? Watch. Something. Are you trying to warn us that something's coming for yes. us? What the f What's coming for us? Oh my Are god. We in serious danger? Can we get hurt? Shh. Jesus Christ. It's getting to piss. It's starting to piss him off. Just the shh. Shut the fuck up already. Dude, something's moving. Check. No way. This is scary, dude. I'm like freaking out. Yo, Chelsea. Loud as ah! Chelsea, Chelsea. It's, what? it's me. That was me. Something was moving at the end of the hallway. I knew that was gonna happen the second he kicked her She was gonna fucking let out giant scream and you said check Check like check it out. Dude, this thing is not fun. This is not no. this is not enjoyable It's not and much I have better no being idea out here. what the context is. I feel like I'm just spitting out random words I feel like I said shh, like so many times to me. There's a spirit down here that demands that is, like quiet. It's either that or it's warning us to be quiet. Like do oh. not, do not show your presence. Be as quiet as you can be because something is down here that is not liking you guys. That's like the gist of what I got out of this conversation. You know what's weird? When I was down here by myself, my first question right when I sat down was, who's down here with me? And it said, girl. So maybe we're actually talking to many different spirits. I'm so ready to be done with this. Getting a little Be done with it, out. buddy. So there is something down here that clearly doesn't want us here. No. So I think we should get up and we leave in peace. We heard your message and we thank you for the warning. We don't even know if Tanner and Dakota are out of their spots yet. Me and Chelsea are taking the warning and we're out. Hey, Dakota, Chelsea and I are, are done. We're going up to the gear room. We're done with this basement. Okay, yeah, copy you. I mean, the sun's basically out. We'll wrap up up here and come meet you in the gear room. Nice. I'm very happy to be leaving kind of on our terms. Yo. Yo. Why would you jinx it? Why would you jinx it? I'm glad to be leaving on our own terms and all of a sudden something just runs up behind him. What is going on? Dude. That was freaky. So we did the Estes method. Chelsea went blindfolded, went under. I felt like there was a, a spirit there that was warning us about something worse. There was a spirit saying, there's multiple, multiple of us down here. You need to be quiet. Dude, when I was down there by myself, I got multiple on the ovulus. You got multiple? I got multiple! Mul I got multiple on the ovulus. What? It's the I, same word I got, audio. That's what I'm saying. You said same multiple? word. There's multiple spirits down there for sure. Well, to be fair, I feel like the word multiple is very common. It's a very common word to get. I've noticed it in almost maybe... I'm, well, I wouldn't say once in every like paranormal investigation, but like maybe like a couple times every so and so investigations amount of investigations, I hear it quite a bit. So I wouldn't say it's you know the craziest thing to get the word multiple. I can't believe a door shut in front of your face. It was like 150 feet down the hall. Like basically, my light was shining, and next thing I know, my reflection is gone. We replayed it. I'll show it to you guys later. We'll probably have to like zoom in a bunch, but you can see it. Something in this building does not like to be disturbed. And when we came in here three years ago, I'm sure we shook something up. The 
if it can shut a door, it's super powerful. It has so much energy to give. I just don't know what chapter in Sweet Spring history it came from. We had so much happen. Like once again, we're leaving this place traumatized. And what made it scarier is the fact that it remembered us all. I mean, I think we definitely proved to ourselves that we can stay the night there. It took a lot to make that happen, but we did it. I think there's gonna be some stuff that it will always be a mystery there, but I'm very excited that we all made it through the night and now we're on to the next. Chelsea, you're peeking next. Yes. Oh my God, that's like a conjuring looking house right there with the tree and everything. Where are we going? Somewhere. Damn it. What? Hey, wow, that's great. You should be scared of this whole dang building. What? This location is one of my favorites and that's all you're gonna get. No. Come on. Run, snake, run. It's a snake, run. This is a perfect time to like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah. Woo! Thank you guys for watching the video. You're amazing. Hit the notification bell if you want to see where Chelsea is taking us. Also, comment below where you found the rubber duck. There is a hidden rubber duck in this video. So comment below where you found it. Awesome. That was it, baby. That was it. Project Fear. Hell yeah, man. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, yeah, this again, though, I have actually, I really enjoyed their first video. The first video that they released on YouTube. Really enjoyed it. That was a lot of fun. This one maybe doesn't hold up to that first one, in my personal opinion. I think the humor worked better in the first uh, part of that, this investigation. But, I mean, overall, man, I'm still satisfied. I can't wait to watch more. Guys, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. I will check out more of this kind of stuff. I do give my honest opinions watching paranormal investigations. Uh, there was a moment in this video that kind of surprised me. I, I don't know what it was about uh, Alex and Chelsea's, like, back and forth in the basement. I, I don't want to, like, say it sounded scripted, but it did sound like... It sounded off to me, and I noticed it right away. Just the way they were going back and forth on talking sounded so like they read it from something. And I don't think that's the case. I truly don't want to believe that's the case, but it did sound a bit off to me. I don't know. I don't know. Still an enjoyable video, though. Still a lot of crazy evidence they caught. I'm very satisfied. So uh, until next time, guys, keep it retro and do take care.